Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. Back in Jack's, got back from the Keys. See what's biting, I feel like I'm a little out of touch. But uh, where it is, there's still some fish around. It's been a little stormy. We've been getting like crazy storms every afternoon. In the distance it looks a little cloudy, but we're not going real far. So we're gonna watch the weather and see. You don't wanna get caught in a storm. We've been there before. So, where it is, bait's on again, off again, and supposedly it's off right now. So we're gonna probably sabiki some stuff up. See if we can't show you guys some cool tips on how to sabiki rigs. And then we're gonna troll, maybe get some cobia, kingfish, sailfish would be nice. Great white. Great white. Yeah, we'll take a great white if we get one, you know. This great white fishing's been kind of slow the last few months, I guess. But uh, we get one on there. Try out our, uh, what, four pound? Yeah, four pound tackle. Great white on a four pound, I know that's never been done. <laughs> Probably for good reason. <laughs> Strictly catch and release on this, like, uh, great whites. Okay, let's go see if we can catch a fish. Guess the word is out there are no pogies and everyone is like loaded up at this north jetty. We'll give it a minute, see if we can get in here. If not, we'll find a less crowded spot to catch bait. Might be some right at the bottom. You got one? I do. I'm not marking a lot, but there's a nice one. All right, guys, we're out here at the spot, starting to troll. Got some uh, greenies out and a dead ballyhoo and a little artificial. Give them a little variety. See if we can, uh, can't can catch something. Watching the storms, make sure they don't come offshore too soon. And uh, here we go. All right, guys, just had a strike on this one. The earth are pretty good. This is the dead ballyhoo. Feels like you got the whole thing. Yeah, nothing on it. We well, got plenty more of those on it. Yeah, all these pretty live baits and the fish that's uh, slow trolled. Uh -huh. Dead ballyhoo. There's plenty more where that came from. Loosen them up a little bit. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Huh? You have that other hook set behind him or? Put this hook right up through the mouth, like so. There we go. Pin this belly. There we go. You think you're gonna work back over there? So what you think? Just uh, maybe give a few more minutes, or what would you what would you do next? Well, were you thinking of maybe the MPG that you still in or no? Could be uh, some wrecks along the way. Uh, I guess Jack's wreck is the only one really between us. Or is it right in the middle of the limit or what? Seems like it or take a look and see. We had one knock down and didn't get it. We didn't put him in the boat. We just had it. He knocked it but didn't get it. Did that guy get it? Uh, how far is that? Uh, four and a half miles and 90 degrees. Uh, I'll go out there. Wanna try that? I'm gonna see if I can take some bait out there and then we're gonna pull them out of there for a minute. Alright guys, finally got a fish on. I got you. Get that other one up or you think you're okay? Yeah, I'll get the gaff ready. Take 
Okay. Alright guys, finally got one in the boat. It's kind of weird. Wonder what was going on. Everyone around us started catching them. I was like, what are we going wrong? And that hit what, the downrigger at 35? 35 downrigger. Uh, on, on a pilchardge. Greeny. As the, the locals call it. So I'm just going to go right back to where I got the fish bite on my GPS. Is the reason right? If there's one there, there's probably more there. Yeah, I can. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Alright, guys, another fish on. Kind of weird. Uh, wonder if a fish came by and hit it, or if the line hit it, or uh, I got a leader. I get him if you want to drive anywhere. Thanks. Starting to pick up a little bit. Little guy, that's okay. Little guys, he's better. So guys, somewhere along the way, the downrigger on the other side got cut off. Opposite side we had the fish on. Um, that light line will actually cut that heavy mono, like 20 pound uh, mono will cut 200 pound mono when a fish is running on against it. I don't know if that's what happened, my fish did that, if another fish came head on or something and hit it, or what, but uh, fortunately it is gone. But we did get fish number two in the boat. Alright guys, fish number three is on. Exactly what he is. He's a bear too. Right, he's a... Right, I got fish. And we'll grab a gaff. Yeah. Oh yeah. uh, no, it's good. I guess the first cuda we've caught all year. Don't say nothing to do that. buddy. You can definitely smell a cuda. Smile. Got some canines. Uh -huh. <laughs> Alright. See you, buddy. Uh, 20 and 35. Said there's looking like some weather building up, up north. Hey, fish on. Yeah, this fish is a lot of fish. It's getting hard to find. Close. Okay, I got fish.
go. Uh, here we go. Get you. A little bit. What do you get to it? His mouth. Missing. Uh oh, when fish fight back. How yeah. Did you get to the mouth? He just fought me. I was trying to get that hook out. That fish put a pretty good fight. Had us going around the boat. Front, back. That was scratched when I tried to get the hook out. Alright, guys, looks like we got some weather rolling in. So we are going to uh, hit the road. Had three kings. The last king was really nice. Actually, had four. Released a little one, but uh, three keeper kings. One really nice one, so that was cool. See the rain up ahead. Hear talk on the radio. See a little bit of weather radar. So um, definitely nothing I want to play around with. Definitely moving offshore. So I think we'll be able to slip in behind it. Shrimp boat pulling just to our side here. Have a look, see. I'll try to cast in there. Yeah, you think they'd hit? You think the sharks would hit anything? Uh, see what we can find behind the shrimp boats. Looks pretty rough back that way, for sure. Saying back back to the south, it looks rough. Got one. There you go. All right. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> no, that sucker's running there now. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. Still taking? Hey, there he goes again. That'd be a big old fat black tip again, huh? Yeah. He's way out there, ain't he? Yeah. Shark week. Shark is on. I don't know. It might be a great white. You just don't never know until you get them up here. Uh-huh. What's that hammerhead they call it? The old, uh... Balls on the seven yeah. mile bridge. Every one, yeah. Dang it. He hasn't even slowed down, has he? He took a lot of line. He's, uh, I'm getting some back now, but... Big shark. He took a lot of line, that's for sure. What's that? He took a oh, lot. Oh, 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 there's one right at the bow. What is it? It was a, it was a shark. Big one. He's pretty good size, whatever he was. You want to loop back to the left. Dang, he went up pretty fast. Did you take him on line? Yeah. More storms. Hopefully that's moving straight east. Luckily we're close to home so we can run when we need to. I think sharks definitely is a lot of fun when you've got the tackle to fight them. Wait a second, I think you got leader. Got leader? Yeah. You getting tired or are you getting tired? Yeah. You can put a little backbone on them with that rod and that heavy brake, can't you? There he comes. What is it? Uh -huh. Black. Where is it? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Shark with attitude? Yeah. That's a big old shark. That He's strong. What's that? He's definitely strong. About a six footer? Right behind the storm? Yeah. Coming up. Right, here he is. Bring him up a little bit closer. I'd like to. Rumbling pretty good over there. Yeah, that is not that's not heavy artillery either. That is coming up. I see leader. Get one more time up here. Here he comes. Here he comes.
Thank you. You too. All right, guys. Well, that was exciting. Oh, wow. That was a workout. Sharks are strong. That was a big shark. Probably my biggest shark on the spinning tackle, at least. I think probably at least a six footer, six and a half, maybe. Yeah. Heavy fish, though. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to try to make it in before the storm. Yeah, storm's coming. We kind of skirted the first one. We're able to come in here, yeah, and uh, catch catch a nice shark on the trim boat. But I think we've pushed our luck long enough. Time for us to head in the water. Hope you guys liked the shark video. Learned a thing or two about avoiding storms. Um, got more video coming at you soon, so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.